Amanda Burton and I'm with the Rehabilitation and Rescue Team. Here we are standing in front of the recovery complex. This is the next step for our patients in-house. Once they're able to kind of start moving around, hopping up on perches, things like that, we move them out here to build up their strength. So if you follow me, we can go ahead and take a look at one of our patients. So the recovery complex has a double door system with those big two doors that we're right by and then each individual enclosure has another door in order to prevent escapes. And down here, down here, this is our one of our patients. He is an immature bald eagle, this here's kid, who unfortunately fell from his nest and injured his leg. Now that he has recovered his leg, we are simply waiting for the migratory northern balds to come down, so that way we can release him into a group so the older balds can teach him how to hunt, how to steal food from other bald eagles, as these guys do. So we can go ahead and crack open the window and we can give you guys a peek at him. So here we are in front of another one of our patients. This is a Swainson's hawk, a migratory bird that goes to Argentina, much like the one we saw earlier. And this bird suffered from impact trauma, which affected his head and neck. He has a condition called torticollis that affects the nerves of the head and neck and causes his head to go upside down and stay that way. So we are working with him uh, using various medications as well as physical therapy to attempt to right his head so that way he'll be able to fly and move around normally as he should. He will likely have to be with us over the winter in order for us to fix this condition since he has missed migration this year. So if you wanna come take a peek at him. And here we are in our small flights of the recovery enclosure. And these birds are all of our little guys, birds like American kestrels, Eastern screech owls, the small but mighty raptors. So in here, we have an American kestrel who's been a victim of a methane flare. The birds either perch on top of these burners or they fly through the hot uh, heat above the burners and it singes their feathers down to just little shafts. We, this is an infrequent injury that we get, but we are seeing it increasingly more and more in the years. We usually see about two to three of these birds each year, and they're always a challenge because they have to stay for an extended period of time to remolt all of their feathers. So if you'd like, you can take a peek at him. 